This one was in good condition, affordable, and had plenty of headroom, but um, I wasn't ready to sign the check right away. Oh no. The truth is, I didn't like the Jeep the first time I saw it. I was originally in the market for a Land Rover or a Hummer. The Land Rover was at the top of my budget, and I found the one I wanted online, called the seller, and even gone as far as to schedule a trip to Georgia for a test drive, but I ended up canceling that a few days before. Probably a good thing I did, because uh, let's be honest, Land Rovers have your reputation of spending more time in the shop than on the road, so at the time I couldn't afford to take that risk with my work schedule. Moving on to the Hummer, I was almost positive that I'd be getting a white H3 since the Land Rover didn't work out. And that's one reason the Hummer was calling me. I like the clean military look and it would be easy to customize since there were a ton of options available. I did get to test drive an H3 and must admit I left the dealership feeling disappointed. It was not a smooth ride at all. And from what I remember, the vehicle sat higher off the ground which was good, but on the inside the ceiling height seemed low. And it just looked weird from the driver's seat and felt overall awkward. So that was strike two. Later on, I started looking at Jeeps and noticed the Commander, which does look like the offspring of a Land Rover and Hummer. This one was in good condition, affordable, and had plenty of headroom. But um, I wasn't ready to sign the check right away. Oh no, I'd already been researching Commanders and knew since this one was produced in November of 05, certain features would not be an option for me. The number one feature it was lacking projector headlights, but more on that in a minute. Also, I would not be able to change the stereo receiver to an aftermarket system because of the specific shape of the factory unit and console trim. That was something you had to have upgraded directly from the dealer when they were new. Sure, I could find units that fit, but the trim needed to cover up the knob openings didn't exist. It was actually my mom that convinced me to take it for a test drive and make an offer because clearly I didn't know what I wanted. Ultimately, that was the better fit for me and my personality than the other brands and it still is today. As far as customizing things, I started with window tint, mud flaps, and a fuel door. Much further down the road, I found an auto shop in Buffalo, New York where the owner had the same Jeep Commander in interior colors that I did. More importantly, he replaced the factory stereo system with a touchscreen navigation and made his own console trim. I contacted him and he was able to make me a custom piece as well. So I was finally able to upgrade my stereo, but one thing was still missing. No auto shop around here were willing to modify headlights because of liability reasons. So I gave up and stopped looking years ago. But one day I started searching YouTube again just to see what's out there and uh, ran across one of Brian's bench test videos where he already modified a pair of Jeep Commander headlights. So I emailed him for some information. About that same time I noticed a small white speck on my front bumper and realized the clear coat is peeling. The pinhole size spot got worse by the week and other areas started to flake as well. I knew sooner or later I'd have to get it fixed because it was such an eyesore. Got an estimate from the paint shop and learned the headlights would have to be removed anyway to get the bumper off. So I came home and thought about what I should do, weighing my options based on the age and value of the vehicle. I finally got to a point where I realized, dreams do come true, guys. Okay, that's enough. You get the idea. Now that everything's been said and done, man, what a huge difference fresh paint and new headlights made. This was really a collaboration project that I thought would never happen, but everyone did an amazing job. The Jeep does not look its age. I hadn't even been there five minutes, just start setting things up. Hit that record button on the camera. I can hear some guy sneaking up behind me on a bike. I'm like, I don't know where these people are coming from. We're out in the middle of nowhere. 